The one thing I think I love about research is it really lets you be creative and think outside the box. And what led me to biofilm research is actually there was nobody else doing it, that there wasn't really a thought that we needed to dose our antibiotics differently. And I didn't know how to do it, but it got me thinking about ways that we could do it. And then it got me talking to a lot of different people who were more knowledgeable in the field. This is a model of our in vitro pharmacokinetic pharmacodynamic simulator. And we can basically grow any biofilm in this flow cell and treat it with any concentration of antibiotic in any type of dosing regimen that we would typically give a patient. This is a biofilm we grew in our flow chamber from a bacteria that we isolated from a patient with cystic fibrosis. And everything that you see that is green is live, and everything that you see that is red is dead. For me to get into biofilm research was a big stretch. I did not train as a benchtop scientist. I was a microbiology major in college, but then I focused a lot on health services research when I first started. But I got really interested in the pharmacokinetics and the pharmacodynamics and how we dose antibiotics. So I basically taught myself how to do it. And I, what I didn't know how to do, I reached out to people and I asked questions, which isn't for me always the easiest thing to do because I don't find it easy to just go up to someone out of the blue and say, hi, and introduce myself and ask questions. It really opened my eyes to what a pharmacist can do. And I think that was really exciting because if I manage to do it, then I think anybody can do it as well. So like most people who work here, um, we have families and outside of work, we have like a separate life. So my life centers around my middle schooler and my new high schooler and I spend pretty much every weekend either sitting on a hot baseball field or in a hot gym watching a volleyball game. One of the other things our family likes to do is we like to go to Hawaii to visit family. And when we go to Hawaii, there's only two things we really do. One is we play at the beach and the second is we eat. I do a lot of knitting. So this is not something that I made, but this is something that was made by what I will call my work mom. So my work mom um, was an educational coordinator here at UCSF in clinical pharmacy when I was a student. Her name is Claire. And when she retired, um, I was absolutely devastated. The good thing is that we keep in touch all the time and we see each other a lot. And one of the things we do do is we knit um, and we go to knitting fairs. I know it sounds really strange, but once a year we'll go to a big yarn festival down in Santa Clara and a lot of other faculty go as well. And we spend the day shopping and buying colorful yarn. And it, for me, it's a great creative outlet because it gives me an opportunity center to myself. And when I'm writing and I can't think, I find that when I pick up some needles and I knit a little bit, it just wipes my head clean and I can think about um, what else to do.